The top tonight, the body of a filmmaker diving in the Florida Keys has been found as his family gets the news they've been dreading. It is a tragic ending to a massive search by air and sea. And while his family was hoping for a miracle, instead they were given closure. Local 10's Janine Stan with us live now in Key Largo with our top story tonight at 11. Janine. Calvin Lurie, that family came here from Canada hoping for good news, but instead it would be a team from right here in Key Largo that would find that filmmaker's body. The decision to, set, to suspend the search is very difficult. The Coast Guard have been like family. They've been overwhelmingly supportive. Not even an hour and, uh, after the Coast Guard announced they would suspend the search for missing diver and filmmaker Rob Stewart, his body was found near the reef where he vanished Tuesday afternoon and brought back to land. They surfaced the body and brought it here to the Coast Guard station. The search spanned nearly three days with state, federal and local agencies. I'm just one part, small part of that whole team. But it was this Key Largo firefighter, Captain Rob Blesser, along with a group of six others who would spot Stewart's body using this robotic device equipped with propulsion and a camera. This reel is connected to this so that you can send it out up to a um, a thousand feet. Blesser's team says Stewart was nearly 220 feet underwater, still with his wetsuit and heavy dive equipment on. My name is Rob Stewart. Stewart's family describes him as a passionate environmentalist who was working on a sequel to his documentary Shark Water. He was also an experienced diver, which made the mission to recover him personal. At least it provides some sense of relief to those that are family members. We take care of our own down here, anybody that's uh, seen we work hard at trying to Make it right. Right now, the family is asking for privacy, but the investigation is just beginning into what went wrong underwater. We're in Key Largo tonight. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Our thoughts are with his family. Janine, thank you.